Rico6263 here with another episode of Sky Factory 2, a mod pack by Bacon Donut. And uh, I've just been doing a little bit of grindy work. Um, got five or six stacks of dust. I've ran a couple through here. Um, took most of the stuff out of there. It's actually more than twice as fast to just do it by hand in here, though. So I was doing both at the same time, but kind of got boring after a while because it does take ages to go through so let's, uh, let's take a look at the stuff I got um, obviously, obviously I was doing this for the redstone um, but it's nice to have all the other things as well so it looks like I did get quite a bit of iron ore um, I think this equates to 22 bars which is nice um, got even more aluminum which is great um, haven't really had a use of the for the aluminum yet, but that doesn't mean I won't eventually because it will come in handy. I know it. Uh, let's throw the iron in there, and it looks like I'm full up. Just throw what I can in here, and I know that'll go. And we'll throw the rest in this chest here. Um. So what I plan on doing today. What I plan on getting done is uh, making a new home. Because while this island has been fantastic, um, it's kind of it's kind of noobish. It's for beginners, and I am no longer a beginner, so I want to spread out uh, and advance a little bit. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm just going to build myself a new island. Where was I going with this? Ah, I needed some coal get some wood out of here just a few pieces I actually put my stuff in here earlier I forgot about that so uh, oh before I start anything else before I make that new island I I got the pieces for something and I want to actually see if it's going to be making a huge difference or not so where's my crafting table right here uh, this is a uh, double layer capacitor I think is what it's called let's see exactly what it's called a yeah double layer capacitor um, which increases energy storage and speed for machines and I got this for my little sterling generator here which should uh, increase because see before it's burning at a uh, twice the rate now it's burning at 1.5 times the rate generating 40 ticks instead of 20 so it's a little bit more efficient I also uh, just while I'm updating things I uh, I made another crucible to increase my lava production um, just to you know speed things up throw you in there for when it comes time so I'm just gonna make my island straight out this way my new island I should say uh, oop, don't want to fall don't want to fall I here this is what I'm gonna do just so that I don't even have the possibility of dying we're going to do this shift double check that I'm shifting always 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 double check that I'm shifting come on place the block there we go now I'm just gonna go out straight 64 blocks from the edge of this so oh, it doesn't put it straight in your inventory I have to go and grab it here we go and away we go I'm gonna use up this entire stack I grabbed the coal and didn't even make what I was gonna make with it before I do anything one two three four I needed torches I needed a stack of torches and so I got a stack now let's put you here and away we go for reals this time torch and cobble we're just gonna start a new life 64 blocks away and hopefully with our new life we will find new avenues for success um, as pretty as that was as much as I like it it, it I wasn't feeling it anymore it wasn't 
what I wanted my island to be. Sky Factory has progressed from the noob days for me. Now it's time to show that progression by making my home a little bit more modern, updated, just better in general. Um, so that is where this is going to go. This is eventually, obviously I'm not going to be able to um, update the whole island, get it all done in this episode, but uh, by the start of next episode, or at least the end of next episode, I will be able to move everything to the new island. I will start my life there. Um, and with my life there, I mean, obviously I'm going to still come back and get the resources and stuff that I left here, but uh, with my life being in the new location, which I am now at, let's just place a few more torches and this will be my new home. I am, I'm excited, kind of nervous because now I'm going to have to start everything over again. I mean, not start everything over again in the sense where like I'm not bringing anything over. It's just, you know, building things in a way that is more efficient, I guess is what I'm going for. I don't know exactly what about the, uh, the first island I didn't like. I just got tired of it. And this is what I plan to do about being tired of that island. It's just move somewhere new. Why not? Why not indeed? Let's just lay all the torches down. Don't want anything spawning. Um, I will safe up this pathway later. Right now it's not my main priority. I'm going to get more cobblestone. The uh, cobblestone generator was working great. I, uh, I was doing all this work to get the stacks upgrade and by the time I got close to it, I don't actually have enough redstone yet, but by the time I even got close to it, um, the barrel was already full. So I'm going to have to look into uh, better storage than barrels because apparently 64 stacks of cobblestone just isn't enough for me. Uh, I'll have to see. It will be interesting to say the least. I don't want to die here. How many blocks out did I go? One, two, three, four, five. Not nearly enough, but it will do for now. Um, right now I'm just getting getting this started. Not planning on finishing it at all. Oops. Not even considering finishing it today, but just uh, getting it started, getting the lay of the new land set up. I will probably spend several hours setting it up later. But that is what I decided to do. And so that is what will be done. Um, I'm definitely going to set up a farm over here because the rinky dink farm I have. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay. I was having a little bit of a keyboard glitchiness going on there and I was not a fan of that. Did not want to fall off here. Wouldn't really lose much, but it's just dying and not being able to get your stuff back is always annoying yeah so like I was saying though um my rinky dink little farm over there is not going to cut it I want to actually get into magical crops and everything so uh, I will set up a special place for that over here uh, when I finish setting up this area right now I'm just getting a general platform started um I'm actually going to leave it at that for this episode because i got other stuff that I want to work on. Um, mostly what I'm going to try to work towards, and it's definitely not going to be happening anytime soon, um, is I want to get, uh, I want to get my division, my division sigils activated. And the way to do that, I'm, I'm sure I have more than one. Where are the rest? Let's find the rest. The way to do that is to get a bunch of dirt, 
get uh, turn it into grass. So I need to get a bunch of grass actually, and uh, use that with an enchantment table and uh, some kind of ritual that goes on at midnight. I'm not entirely sure exactly what the ritual entails, but I know it's kind of gnarly. So we'll see. Um, I'll hold off on making the enchantment table until I get closer to actually being able to do the ritual. Um, actually, I should be able to. What do you say? If I hit use with you, does it tell me anything? Ah, strange mythic, uh, mystical item cannot be crafted, but is found. As Frost stated, it's useless. You need to be activated. Activation ritual can unenchant things, not really necessary. Um, find out for yourself what is needed. Shift right click on an enchantment table. Let's uh, just read about it. Place an enchantment table on a patch of dirt or grass. So it doesn't even have to be grass, it can be dirt. It must have a direct line to the sky. It must be a large amount of dirt or grass. So I'm going to think uh, maybe seven seven radius so we'll call that 14 by 14 no it needs to be 15 by 15 maybe we'll see what works um, I'll just make it when I get the when I get enough dirt or grass uh, and then eight redstone dust in a square and sacrifice a mob golden lasso what exactly do I need for a golden lasso let's check that out a golden lasso does not require too much not too much at all I can do this right now are you frustrated by trying to lead cows and sheep around using wheat right clicking on any passive mob with the golden lasso and it will magic magically be magically stored I'm skipping words uh, it'll be magically stored inside then right click on the ground to release it this simple tool makes moving animals a lot easier so uh, I can do this pretty much any time I've got gold I've got um, ender pearls and I've got blaze powder so and string is easy easy to come by so I can make the golden lasso anytime um, which is great very very useful um, I'll probably sacrifice a pig or something and I know that when you do the ritual um, you you end up creating tainted soil and you get yourself hurt by uh, lots of mob spawning so what I'm gonna do before I do that ritual is uh, make myself something with silk touch and I know I can do that with tinkers construct so um, I'm just gonna look up how to do that real quick and we'll if we can't make the item that is going to have silk touch um, let's see if we can't make that item right now we can at least make the uh, gem that gets it because I know it is I know it is this thing here this silky jewel so I need an emerald I've got plenty of those gold surrounded by gold surround wait gold ore berry okay I don't have or ore berry so gold surrounded by string and I only need four of those that is super duper easy let's grab an emerald let's grab my gold nuggets are in here I only need four of you and I've got tons of string somewhere here's three and string none in this chest um, what about you none in this chest I know I have tons here's 38 that might be enough but just to be sure we'll grab any string I have in here what happened to all my string did I use it for something else I don't know well let's see if this is enough it should be yeah that's enough beautiful so we got four of those don't need this extra string so we'll put it away and I don't know what exactly we should uh, make into a silk touch uh, thing I'm thinking it should probably be a pickaxe for when we make ender chests um, so 
I can't remember how to make... I don't have enough gold to make uh, Tinker's Construct items. That was my main concern. But now, I do have the powdered gold ore here. I have... I think this is not quite enough for... Yeah, it's not quite enough for four. So, we'll pull out three. Did I have any other gold anywhere? Not in this chest. Not in here. I've used too much of my gold. That is my issue. Um, what about in here? Any gold in here? No, actually. No gold at all. Interesting. Um, got plenty of redstone, though. I could actually make that stacks upgrade, I'm pretty sure. Uh, now that I don't need it, I can do it. That is life. As soon as you don't need to do something, it becomes readily available to you. Um, I probably wasted a whole bunch of the RF, yeah. So we will make the gold. And while that is cooking, I will go grab uh, my books on how to use or how to make the things I'm trying to make. Modifiers. Ah, pickaxe. Very first one. It's a pickaxe head, a tool rod, and a tool binding. I will make the tool binding out of paper because that's supposed to be good. So that, the tool rod, I will make, actually I'll make the whole pickaxe out of alumite because why not? So what I need is, I've got a tool rod pattern already, so I need to make uh, a gold cast the tool rod pattern and then I need a gold cast of which one do I need it that's not the right thing this is the right thing of the pickaxe head so I put that in here and I do this I get a pickaxe head pattern okay so I need to make a gold cast of these two things which means how do I do it? Is it just like this? Stone tool rod. Great. And then stone pickaxe head. Great. And then I come over here. I take up my ingot cast and I put you down and pour the gold over you. Yes, awesome. I how much gold does that leave me? That leaves me four ingots. Okay. I was getting worried that I would not have enough uh, enough gold in there for the pickaxe head, but I'm pretty sure four ingots four ingots will cover it. Um, beautiful. So now I'll just throw in the. I don't want to throw in the whole block. I'll throw in five pieces of alumite. One, two, three, four, five. Put you separate. Why don't you start cooking up? While that cooks, um, don't really need this. Do I? I don't think so. Um, what I do need is to make an ME system, but let's just look at how hard that's gonna be. M E M E drives. M E storage cells. What what do you need for an M E cell? M E drive. This thing. You need this, which M E glass cable requires Fluix crystals, I can actually get those. Um, and a quartz fiber, which I can also get. Glass, which I can get. Okay, so I can make that. Oh, that's uh, that's not important. Iron, I can get plenty of. This, I don't have an inscriber, but I'm pretty sure I can make one. Printed silicon, 
requires silicon, which requires burning quartz. Burning quartz gets me silicon. Or running, interesting, interesting. I can just throw clay into a sag mill. Um, clay or sand, you get a 50% chance of getting it from sand. Sand is a lot easier to come by than clay because clay you have to get the water and everything. But uh, quartz, did not know that. Um, and then printed engineering circuit, which requires a diamond. Okay. So, uh, or a cutting knife and yeah, it requires the inscriber and a diamond. Um, what about ME controller? That is probably something else I need. Okay, um, sky stone. I can actually get a. Uh, I can actually get sky stone pretty easy. Because um, I do have sky stone bricks. I have sky stone. What? What happens? if I take four of you and do this. I only grab three. So <laughs> at this rate, I won't find out, but uh, let's try it again. What happens if I do this? Nothing. I can just actually just type you. Look at, come on. Okay, let's skip the sky stone because I'm pretty sure I can get to it. it requires pure fluix which means you have to drop a fluix seed made from fluix dust and sand into a puddle puddle of water and to make that process faster you add crystal growth accelerators um that's interesting you can just smelt fluix crystals into pure fluix crystals why would I do it this way why would I do it that way? I can just smelt it. So I'll just be smelting it. Uh, I need four pure fluix crystals and an engineering press. So this is actually not going to be too hard if I can figure out how to make the sky stone blocks. Let me see if uh, you need nine of these sky stone to do this. No. What do you use the sky stone dust for? I don't know, but I will find out right now. Thank goodness, thank goodness for not enough items. What do I use you for? Okay, pulverizing. Let's just press you. What does it do like what's it good for and you're telling me how to get it but not what I use it for um, if I can't get sky stone that's gonna be an issue how do I get sky stone then how do I get you is there a crafting recipe no, there is no crafting recipe. What about this? Interesting. Um, well, for now, I guess I'll just go with the alumite. Are you not cooked? Do I need more? I can't possibly need more. Oh, I need to switch them. That's probably what it is. So now, now it'll work. So I've got the alumite head. Now let's put down the tool rod and uh, make that out of alumite also. Pick that up, put the ingots down and uh, dry out the rest of everything that's in there. 
So I'm, I'm going to run into problems if I can't make skystone blocks out of uh, skystone dust. I'll have to look that up. Ooh, I only have half of an ingot there, so we'll just have to cheat our way. Oops. I thought I put the division sigils away. Oops. Come on. Where are you at? There we go. Thought I put my division sigils away, but they were not away now, or one of them wasn't. Let's pull out the gold also, might as well. Um, I'm definitely going to have to look up about that. That bothers me, that the sky stone cannot be made. I guess I'm done there. Uh -huh. Let's throw these two back in here. This back in here. I can probably throw that away and throw you in there. I'll pick it right back up, doesn't matter. Um, now, what do I need? I need to be in here. Awesome. First, first, before I forget, before I do something dumb, let's make paper. And paper stacks, you go like that. Right, got a paper stack. Is that what I need to make a paper binding? Do I need to make a binding pattern? Probably. I need to make a binding pattern. So let's put one of the blank patterns in here and tool binding pattern. Great. Now I know what to do. So you here, you here. Beautiful. Even got two pieces of paper back. Now in here, pickaxe, put the paper, put the alumite head, put the alumite tool rod. Let's name it something. What should we name this? What should we name this? Let's name this uh, Silky. Let's name it Silky Smooth. Yes, we have a silky smooth uh, alumite pickaxe. And now let's, is it in here that I need to do it? I don't, I need a tool station, right? Do I not have one of those? Should be easy enough to make. Tool station, I'm certain I have one of these. Just a crafting station with a, are none of these tool station? That's, that's a tool station right there. So what do I need? Hmm. Nope, that's not it. You can't look up by mod, which is unfortunate. Um, what is it called? Stencil table, stencil table. These are just different types of stencil tables. Casting table. Are they used in anything? No. I cannot remember. Let's, uh. Let's see. Casting table. Seared tank. Tank. What about you? What are you used in? Ah, tool forge. That's what I need. So I need four blocks of iron, a tool station, and three seared bricks. Bricks. Let's see how much iron I have. I know I don't have four blocks already, but maybe I can get four blocks. Doubtful. Very doubtful. Um, that'll get me twenty-two have two in here already so got a grand total of uh, not nearly enough let's make you four blocks is 36 so I need quite a bit more iron just quite a bit more any iron in here anything I can melt down no, no. 
Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. What do I have in here? I've got iron bars. I'll throw those into the smeltery. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, not really finding any more iron. I will just have to grind some more to get the rest of the iron. Lots more grinding to do. So much fun. Uh, that's aluminum. You know what? I did have four iron, four of these type of iron somewhere. And I put them away right here. So that's another two. That is another two iron ingots. Still doesn't quite get me that last iron. Uh, see, I need six more. Throw those in. May as well throw those in. Uh, don't need an iron pickaxe anymore. Jeez. Don't quite have enough iron, and that makes me quite sad. Quite sad. I know I have two full uh, blocks, potentially three, but I know I also don't have that fourth block, which is what I really needed. So, we'll see what we have right now, and uh, maybe we'll just have to get the rest of the iron and uh, put the silk touch on this later. Oop, that might have been a mistake. No, we had enough. We had enough. I guess this doesn't smell. That makes me sad. Did we have enough? We had exactly enough. Beautiful. Um, we have exactly one nugget in there. We need nine more iron. Do we have iron in here? We have... Oh, that'll get me up to four more iron ingots not quite enough not quite enough um i guess for now what we can do is get this running again and call it a day we'll just have to do some more stuff later that makes me sad that i'm well, first off, it makes me sad that I have the nuggets in there. It shouldn't be like that. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode of Sky Factory. We'll come back next time and be able to make that tool station, get the Silk Touch put on, and uh, do everything else that we're going to need. The Silk Touch, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, um, is both for uh, ender chests and for picking up the tainted soil so that we could put that down in the nether um, and hopefully spawn things that don't normally spawn like blazes and ghasts and um, wither skeletons. So that's the hope. I don't think I explained that before. Anyway, you'll see when it comes up, I guess. Uh, until then, though, I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.